morning, Greater Lake Trobe. From the WCAT TV studio, Amar Rogers alongside Pepe Heasley, and these are your morning announcements. If you are interested in playing boys lacrosse this spring, please be sure to sign up at www.latreblacks.com as soon as possible. Registration will be closing soon. Attention all members of the library's book club. The next meeting will take place immediately after school this coming Thursday, January 18th. Please be sure to read the book by then if you plan to attend. This month's book is The Last Lecture by Randy Powell. The Women's Choir and Men's Ensemble have started rehearsal. This is a wonderful after-school opportunity for any and all students, whether or not you're currently in choir, to sing with these fantastic groups. Women's Choir will rehearse Mondays and Wednesday from 2.35 to 3.05 p.m. and Men's Ensemble will rehearse Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.35 to 3.05 p.m. Both groups end in time for students to take the junior high buses home. For more information, please stop by the choir room or just start coming to rehearsal. Now here's Nick Malizia with the sports report. Good morning, Greater Lake Trobe. It's time for your Wildcat sports report. There will be a doubleheader tonight at Fox Chapel High School with the girls' basketball game beginning at 6 and the boys' basketball game beginning at 7.30. The den theme for tonight's game is costume. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Nick. Do you love to sing? The Greater Lake Trobe Choral Department invites you to be part of the choirs. Concert choir is open to all students, no audition necessary. Just schedule concert choir when you meet with your guidance counselor. Whether or not you have been part of choir before, there is a place for you in concert choir. Want something a little more challenging? Auditions for chamber choir will be held on Friday, February 2nd, and Friday, February 9th after school. Chamber choir is filling spots for all, all voice parts, soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. Audition materials can be picked up in the choir room. Both concert choir and chamber choir will be traveling next spring, and the destination will be revealed April 2018. We look forward to singing with you. The Latrobe Hospital Aid Society has volunteer opportunities at Latrobe Hospital and at Stella Square at Latrobe. With the new facility opening near the school, there are many ways students can volunteer. The Aid Society awards scholarships to seniors for volunteer services at the hospital. There's a minimum of 150 hours in order to qualify for the scholarship. Juniors, now is the time to start to accumulate hours to be eligible as a senior. Please stop by the 1112 office student waiting area for more information. We go back to Nick for the weather report. Thanks, Kefri. Say goodbye to the warm weather this week because today has a high of 56 and a low of 17 with rain showers. Saturday having a high of 21 and a low of 6 with mostly cloudy skies. And Sunday having a high of 17 and a low of 4 with cloudy skies. That's all for weather. We will be back after this message. Attention all juniors. There will be an informational meeting concerning the Allied Health Program scheduling option on Friday, January 26 during period 1 in the library classroom. The Allied Health course is taught in cooperation with Excella at La Trobe Area Hospital. Students will study a wide range of topics, as well as gain a wide variety of clinical experience. Mrs. McQuarrie, class instructor, will address the group and answer questions. Any students interested should sign up in the 1112 office by Wednesday, 24th, 2018. Do you want a chance to use your creative and design skills to win a $30,000 scholarship along with a $50,000 dollar education technology package for our school? If so, then you should participate in Google's Doodle for Google competition. This, the theme this year is What Inspires Me. Students are to transform the typical Google logo into a work that represents their ideas about inspiration using the materials of their choosing. Interested students who would like to participate in this contest, contest are asked to see, see Mrs. Page or send her an email by January 19th. Mrs. Page will gladly open her studio rooms and supplies to any interested students who would like to participate. For WCAT TV, this has been Kethry Heasley and Ma Rogers. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Stay tuned for Wildcat All Access. Good morning. Welcome to Wildcat All Access. I'm your host, Alex Bizignani, alongside Paige Lesko. The boys' basketball team is on pace to make playoffs with the current overall record of 9-4. Last Friday was a sellout as the Wildcats protected the home floor against the Henfield Spartans with a final score of 71-53. Reed Fenton went perfect at the line with 15 free throws, totaling 35 points. Tonight they take on Falks Chapel on the road in hopes to get their fifth straight section victory. The game starts at 7.30.
The girls' basketball team continues to have a very successful season with a huge win over Obama Academy on Wednesday, finishing 71-43. to Currently, they hold an 8-2 record and are perfect in their section. The Lady Wildcats hope to stay that way tonight at Fox Chapel. In their last section game, they beat Hemphill with, with a score of 62-57. to Laura Greytalk had a game-high 29 points. Congratulations also go out to Laura after being named the Letterman's Club Athlete of the Week. Laura averaged over 28 points per game in the team's first three games and was named MVP of the Indiana Boosters Tournament and Pittsburgh Post-Gazette Athlete of the Week. Congratulations, Laura. The wrestling team participated in the Westmoreland County Coaches Association meet. Brady Sherback and Gabe Willishell at 120 reached the championship finals, but both were runner-ups. Marino Angelico placed fifth. The Wildcats came in 12th in the team standings. The team takes on Greensburg-Salem next Wednesday with a home match that starts at 7 o'clock. The varsity swimming and diving team made a splash with the girls team defeating Penn Hills with a score of 99-85 to on Monday, January 8th. The boys defeated Penn Hills with a score of 90-68. to Riley Jackson placed first in the 100 free with the Whitby qualifying time and David Marinchak took first in the 50 free. The girls 400 free and the boys 200 free relay teams pulled through and won both of their events. Taylor Miller clenched first place in diving, followed by Jordan Miller in second, and Lily Barda in third. Over the holiday break, the hockey team traveled to Alpha Ice Complex, where they competed in the Directors' Cups Showcase. With many close games, the Ice Cats made it into the championship game with goals scored by Jake Burkhart, Lane Ruffner, JT Schmizzi, and Blake Rossi. In net, Gage Handerwerk faced 20 shots. Back on home ice Monday night, the Ice Cats defeated Baldwin with a final score of 4 to nothing. Come out and watch the Ice Cats take on big rival team on Monday, January 22nd at 7.15 against Enfield. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Wildcat All Access. Go Cats!